What's going on, everybody? I don't know if this will actually be a video or not, but I'm recording it. This is the microscope that's pulled up on the second camera. Put my blue glove under here. You kind of can see it, maybe. Alrighty. Try not to sneeze. Try not to sneeze. So give me a second here. All right, there we go. Now I feel better. Got some cards I'm thinking about grading. Figured why not put them under scope today. See what happens. I'm going to try this a different way with the sleeve on so it's easier to slide. So you can see where how big the card sits right there between the sleeve. That's the edge of the sleeve up here. I'm just curious looking over stuff. That's Oops, bumping the other camera. There we go. So now we got some light out. That. Let's see if I take this out, what the difference is. This might be really boring for some people. So you guys can see. See you know that fuzz that's right there on the side? This is a scorecard of Tom Brady. This is what I do. I slowly go through this stuff before I send it off to be graded. Now, like a little piece of fuzz right there too onto it, onto the edges. Oh, that little, oh, that's a snowflake. Wait, no, on a red. Check it up. Blue going up. Okay, that's a snowflaker. Saw them little spots there, and I was like, wait a minute. So I'm more looking at edge stuff than anything on it is. Like something on it. Let's see if that comes off. Nope. You guys can see it pretty good right there. Let me see if I get a my little pen thing. I think I can hold this up high. When it gets into scopage. So if you guys see right about there. That little mark right there. Kind of crazy, huh? This is what I do. Nice and slow nowadays. Snowflake piece. I'm always looking at edges onto this, mostly. And then when I get up here to my corners, I'm in the scope, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Look at the corner. See, that there I probably won't send because that corner there is going to end up being a nine and a half or a nine, depending on where I go. So this is how I eliminate a lot of the stuff I've been sending to um, ESA and other companies out there. It's a real nice car, just something that's going to go in the store. And look, you can tell on these corners, they're not even perfectly square. These corners are like semi-rounded at the bottom. As I move it up, you can kind of tell. Huh, kind of weird. But if I wanted to, you guys can see it's Tom Brady right here, too. And I may pause this because I'm out looking at a card on eBay, too. Actually, I can do it while I'm here live to you guys. Tom Brady, up close and personal. Look at all that dot work in there. You can just tell if somebody fills this stuff in. So, you know, by that there, if I was sending this to a grading company, whether it's, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, just one less card I know not to send because it's not going to grade out to where what I want it to be. And I do this a lot. Um,. I don't know how many people actually I talk to daily, but by emails and stuff, but they're always asking me, do you still use your microscope? And the answer is yes, I do. I'm going to flip this on real quick. All right, we got 13 minutes left. On to an auction. You guys might get to see me win an auction today. For what? Oh, I'll show you at the end.
if I win it. You guys know me, always out for weird stuff. So this card here is actually a foil, a rainbow foil from Tops, and it's this year's. It's uh, Tyler Stevenson. And again, I'm just mostly using this here for the edge, and I do have a cloth underneath this, a microfiber that I'm sliding it on. Some people have done this now with the sleeves on, and you know it works either way with your eye. You just gotta look. And you become better with this stuff as you do it. So where I'm going a little bit quicker, other people might not. See how the 70 top spoil there? I was looking over a lot of this stuff. And you guys can see how it's not like perfectly foil stamped by the black into it and stuff. Well, not where the baseball is, but the 7 and stuff. And I'm always wondering, is that stuff going to get dinged or not? We won't know. Until we submit it. got to go this way now. Let me go back over that. Side. Yep, right there. There is a printer line. So you guys see right about where my my pen up somehow. Touching. All right, right there. That is a printer line that I could not see with my regular eye until I caught it right here. So I'm going to try to put this down close to it. All right, right there, going up. So stuff like that there is hard to see, and unless you're using something like this, you're not going to catch you. See, there's two more right there, and that there is automatically going to gig you with any grading company because of those defects. Now, Grant, I don't know how the computer AI is going to do all that stuff. That's uh, Eric's realm onto that. But see, something like this, just because it's a rainbow foil, I would have been interested in sending in originally. And now I'm like, well, thank you, Mr. Microscope, because I did not see those. And now I do. You know, now I'm not going to be grading this. And I save myself a card saver. You know, there's some cards you do want to grade and get a 9.5 on to, and especially if you got a company that's doing 9.5s. So don't ever get me wrong. I'm about trying to get the best grade out of it if I'm going to spend money. So this here, this might have to be turned, there we go, is a autograph card from last year's Tops. It's actually Danny Mendick. Hey, Danny. Well, I'm not going to do that because I need to look at edges. Look at that. Now I have to toe down. Is that the sticker? That's the sticker there, but see that? Right there in the surface. Man. Crazy the stuff you see with this. Because at first you think it's a sticker, but look after the sticker. That's no longer a sticker there. That's actually a scratch into the card, guys. And this is the kind of stuff now that, you know, we're going to, if you're not using stuff like this, you could really hurt yourself. Look, there's some more marks on it. This would not grade out. And when I, sh I'll have to, I wish I could, sh I could take this off the screen. Hold on, let me uh, finish up here real quick. I've already determined I'm not going to grade this card now, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's going to hinder me. Some real fate, like that fate printer, printer line right there, it's dead, almost dead center. That there they might not catch. Um, because my magnification on this is actually 40 times and not 10 times. But you're, I'm always missing stuff when I was doing this stuff originally. I just got to move this around a little more. Because usually I flip the card around, but I'm just sliding it here today. So let me pull this off the screen real quick, and I'll show you guys. My little mousey. So this is the card right here. And you know we were looking up by that sticker. Oh, yeah, I can see it now because I know where I'm looking. But when I looked at this at first glance, I never saw that uh, line or circle. It's right below the uh, light there, and I'm going right. Everything's right below it. But because of stuff like that, when you're looking at these cards, like like a hair, 
Is that Danny Mendick, 101 hair? No, it's actually in the card. I mean, it just eliminates something very quickly from going to be graded in my, my books. Other people might grade that, you know, for whatever reason offhand. They might just want it to collect Danny Mendick. I don't know. I just figured I'd be sitting here looking at stuff, and, you know, I do this quite frequently. I just never really share this. Oh, I'm pretty dumb. Yeah, no comments, CBC. But anyway, that's what we're watching. Oh, oh, here we go. Luis Arez. And just by going over stuff like this, I mean... Magnifier glass, lighting, all that stuff is key. Do how I usually do it here. A little bit of fuzz there on the top. Bad. Flip around here. Oh, right there. See those lines? Mm-mm-mm. And this is not a chrome card to where you're able to, like, wipe it down. This is the paper version of Tops. I can't believe I didn't see these. Let's see. Right down there. Boom. Gone. Just like that. And this is why when I do my submissions, guys, like, I plan three hours out of the day. It's mostly because when I first pull these, I'm going through, I do a quick glance at the stuff to see, you know, if I'm going to use it or not. And with the price value, where it is now, you've got to be very slow. Like, this here, I already see an issue, so. Let's see if it picks it up. There we go. See that bottom corner right there? That's another Luis Arez. Arez, Arez. I can't even say it now. All right, so that's another one we won't use. Goodbye. Well, we've gone through quite a few already that nothing to me is worthy of going to be graded yet. Sometimes you just want to hurry up and get stuff out there to be graded too. This is actually a 69. This is a Max Bride. Um... Rookie. A little bit of hair marks there, but it's kind of hard to see them. And once you start grading, you can actually, or grading, once you start using this, you can figure out what's going to be seen and what's not. Now, like this here, I'm fine getting a 9.5 on it because of, see the corner? And now I'm like probably creeping down into the nine categories. I'm thinking right now, corners are a nine, nine, maybe a nine five onto uh surface. But because of being out of sixty nine. I'm going to go ahead and grade it, even if it comes back a 9.5. I already know one corner is messed up on this, which is kind of what is going to be gently called out a 9. Surface might come back 9.5. Hopefully we get 9.5s and everything else that's bigger. So just because of that being the future stars, I'm going to take a chance on to it. All right, we got a few minutes here. There's another cool one. This here is actually a uh, Topps Gold. It's the Padres card that has Tatis on it. Now, a reason why I thought about even grading this to begin with is due to the fact that, uh, you know how LeBron stuff has like pictures of Jordan and Kobe and stuff on it, and people are like, one time frame, we're going crazy for it. I don't know. This could be something down the road. It might be cool. I don't know. There's the Topps logo. Decent across the board so far. A 
little bit on the corner there. But see, like this here with uh, PSA, I know I'm not getting a 10. Would I settle for a 9.5 through GMG? You're right, I would. I saw something there. Oh, look at that right there. That is A N something right about. See if that's on there or not. See if it was. Another cloth. If we got it there, yeah, a little bit of a scratch mark there onto the card. A little bit on corner wear. Oh, we already did that side. So I'm not even really going to the back onto this right now. I'm just looking at the fronts onto these. Uh, I don't know if I this probably will not go anywhere either offhand. All right, we're going to switch on over here. If you guys want to just see the grading stuff, just hit fast forward. We got like two minutes to this auction. So I'm going to click this off. Let's see if we can win this. It's a one-on-one -on -one Ernie Banks cut auto uh, out of Tier 1. Now, usually a cut auto of Ernie Banks is going between 250 280 Now, I'm going to show you guys why. This has an actual piece of a relic in there, too. A little bit of a pinstripe, so it's going to give it a little bit more value. Um, this here is only because of pure collection I'm even going to bid on this. And it's due to the fact that it's a 101, it's a cut auto. You've got uh, part of his relic in there, a little bit of a pinstripe in the corner. I would push this around 350 in my own opinion, when I, if I was to price this out. So... Because I really want it for for my own PC, you'll see what I'm going to do. 352 dot, and I always do this. This is me 366. So we'll hold off here, see if we can win it. I think it's kind of capped where it is right now, to where nobody else is going to bid on this. And this is more for myself because I want cards that are just not seen every day, and. This just kind of fills into where I'm at with what I've been doing mostly. Uh -oh, we got we got it down almost 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Can we do this? It's not often I buy from eBay that much anymore. I wish they had some eBay bucks here today. What do you guys think? We'll, we'll click it here in about 7 seconds. We're off. Nope, too high for me. Way over what I wanted to bid. No winner. But that's the kind of stuff I look for, guys. God. All right, let's get back to grading. <laughs> Sorry, you guys had to get through that. I forgot it was going off during this time frame, so I had to have a chance at it to see if I could actually do it or not. I do apologize if that was boring to everybody. I do apologize. All right. This is a life and a day of uh, me when I'm doing my stuff. All right, this here is a select Justin Jefferson. Now, I do know there's some marks onto this somewhere. I just got to figure out where I was at onto these. Let's see if I need to pull the light up. No, it's just the color. Okay, so about right there. Keep going. See, I know where they're at. They're on the silver piece, but I'm hoping it's these designs, but what I was looking at before. I just look pretty decent overall onto this. That for a chrome corner. You gotta slowly rotate this spinner. Believe it or not, I do make these noises all the time as I'm doing this stuff because it amuses me.
This uh no, it's the top of the card that I'm worried about, to be honest. Top of level again. If you guys like this kind of video here, I could do more of them. I just just never really do them. People, I, the only reason, like I said, I've been, I'm doing this video this way is because people ask me, like, are you still using your microscope at all? Now, as you guys can see, see those marks right there? I noticed those. Those are dead center in the middle, those two little things. I noticed that on the card originally. And I don't think they came out the buffing cloth. Let me try it again. I cannot remember. I'm trying to get a few cards sent to GMG. You guys know he has that uh, promotion going on. Yeah, it came right out. On there. Yep, it was just some crazy film that was playing on there. Show you guys. Second. Although I do see something else now. I have to look in the middle of the card. All right, so this was the top of it originally. As you guys see, remember the marks were about right around in here. So now there's nothing at all. But I want to come down to here. I find that circle. Okay, there's the cut in. So somewhere around here, I was noticing this weird mark right there. It's dead center. See how that kind of looks like an indention going through the middle of the card? Kind of crazy, to be honest. Actually... Wow, that's really insane. We do got the scratch marks, of course, on the back. But I was looking at, see, this is about, let me get to the center of the card. All right, see that where the Jefferson line is at there? I was looking, there's a scratch mark that goes the whole way through. I'm wondering whenever they press this, if that is the root cause of what I'm seeing here. So again, dead center in the middle. You see that line? It's going through there. Check this out. It goes through the whole Justin Jefferson card. Kind of hard to see there. Uh, I don't think we pick it back up until we hit over here. Kind of hard to tell it there. But, show you guys into the uh, regular camera. All right, so there is the middle of the card that we were looking at. Now, if you guys look right there, you see that indention. It goes from, like, right here and goes across. Look at the point of my thing. Now, I'm going to come back to it up close to the camera so you guys can see it. Right there. Right above the light. It's like this line. You can barely see it on this side, but it comes back down through. Huh. Really crazy. I mean, otherwise, I'd have sent this in to be graded, to be honest. This stuff here will go in the store. It will be probably saying that I've noticed it's not going to gem in on it. I don't know if I'll remember everything offhand, but it'll be marked cheap. Now, a lot of times I mark this stuff on to the website that I do notice something like that. And that there is just some kind of weird indention line. So now next we got Chase Claypool. This is a oh, club level. Yeah, I got like one card so far for GMG. This is bad. Might not hit the minimum of five cent then. A little bit of markings right there. I'm sure that might come up. It might be some of that chrome stuff that I saw earlier. 
This is why you wipe down your cards, guys. I mean, if you if I just sent all those other cards to PSA, I'm looking at like eights and nines coming back. Um, hi, Pug. What can I do for you underneath me? Okay, Grumpy. And see, the thing is, when I'm moving this card around to get the edges back up, I'm actually looking at this. See right there between those lights? You got a little bit of uh, messed up chrome there on the bottom. But this is club level, and somebody might collect it being a Steeler fan. Now, granted, I am using a higher magnification than what others use. Computer AI now grading this in some of the ways they're doing. See, there's like a little bit of a line there, too. I'll do them and give us a wipe down, but I'm more looking right now at the edge onto this than anything. And if I see a divot anywhere, like right there, but that's all part of the impression. Take a second to readjust focus onto this thing. Play around this plate some. Corners there. I just don't understand why it's doing that. And see, my thing is, if I can make it through the front of the car, then I go to the back. If I can't, then we're done. We got a couple things I did notice on. Get the old rag out. Leave it still there afterwards. One still there. But overall, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Now let's take a look at the back. I mean, I am really nitpicking these, but when I'm using my own money type deal and Oh, well, actually, even when I look at these stuff for other people, I'm using, you know, you're spending money on this regardless. These scratch marks in the back are all on there. Um, from from PSA standpoint, they were given a lot of leniency on this before compared to the front. And you can see them. They're, it's just all from the roller mark. A little bit of fuzz there on the edge. We'll get that wiped down here in a minute. Now, if you look at that corner up there, guys, it almost reminds me of, like, See how it's like stops being shiny? It's like they didn't get all the chrome onto it. But when I go like this, see, that's why I always play around the card. I'll lift it up, I'll go like this to it and stuff because the glare sometimes will get to you. So, overall, not a bad chase clay pull. Um, we'll put it off to be graded. Club level, new level this year. I know a lot of this stuff was really overproduced, but we'll take a chance at it. I mean, a nine five on two, maybe a ten. I don't know. Let's see, like I said, you may see all kind of issues with your cards underneath this thing. Once you start 
pushing stuff in to be graded, you start kind of learning what is going to slide because I'm using a higher magnification versus, you know, what they're saying. Because they're only supposed to be going, I believe it's 10 times. So Kyler Murray out of 49, we can see, already see it has that little bit of crud right there. We'll get it off here at the end. This is a purple out of, I want to say it's 49. But nobody else is going to be able to grade this card. Um, like back at her PSA for a while. And it's one of those things where, you know, you want to get stuff moved. You got to rotate inventory. Um either PC or however you're doing it. There you go. A little bit of fuzz top left corner there. We'll wipe it off. Well, I'm not seeing anything too bad. It looks like these purples come out pretty good, actually. Right. on them. See the lines there, but they're light. All right. Take it on back. a little bit on that top corner there. On the line. I got one more card after, so I'm going to have to find a fifth card to give out. I don't like going under four cards going in. You guys see the back, man. Lots of uh, crazy scratch on it compared to the front. Still good. Corner there looks to be a little weird, too. I know I'd be going a bit quicker for some people onto this, but I've been doing these for so long that my eyes pick up stuff here a lot better. All right. Overall, not bad. We'll wipe it down. We'll send it in. See what she comes back as. Oh, I know what I was looking in the front. I just saw it now. Put it back under here in one second. Was care of it we saw on this card. Under here. Maybe it was just me the way I was looking at it. Where was that again? Second one, I guess. Well, the two gold lines are two lines. Where the gold back. Huh. See right there when I put that, like, where the blue light kind of goes over it? There looks to be, like, a print mar like a printer thing to jacked up on. So between those two lights right there, you guys can kind of see it. Kind of crazy. We're going to send this in. Being out of, let me make sure I was right. No, 75. This is out of 75. Oh, I said 49 or But like I said, this is the kind of stuff that I do, especially if people are like, hey, can you, uh, what you, 
you know, some people I send cards in for them, either I manage their PSA account for them and mail it directly in, and they just cover the shipping plus the fee for looking at their cards, or uh, I let them tag in my orders. But just stuff that I do offhand, I mean, in no way am I a grader by any means, nor do I have an ambition of being a virtual grader. But stuff like this here that, you know, you start learning and when you're out seeing stuff like this, you kind of start picking up flaws. And I know, like, Eric from GMG is going to be like, he'll, he'll be able to explain this probably better than me. But as you're uh, looking at stuff, you start learning all the different flaws that are on every single type of card from a certain uh, manufacturer and brand. And you're like, well, dang, is this going to get through or not? Let me see. This is on everything. And normally, I know like with PSA and Beckett, uh, they pretty much do the same thing. But what would be nice is if all the grading companies out there had like a centralized board that only they can look at. And they would be like, hey, guys, we're noticing this on all these cards. What are we doing? We're, we're thinking about just, you know, this doesn't count against it. Um. And then they could somebody they could all put out on their own like channel. Hey, after careful talk amongst the grading companies, we've noticed this flaw here. We're not dinging you for it. I mean, what do you guys think on something like that? I think it's a great idea, but I think some companies are too uh, overprotective of sharing info. Not too bad overall. I mean, the back of this is just what is straight like uh, white border, so I don't really need it much. But Sabato, we'll set some. Oh, good. Did I just hit that? <laughs> hey, look, make sure. Okay. But, uh, I hit my hand and I was like, did I hit the card too? But the way I was holding it, I think about it, I wouldn't have hit the card. Wipe down all the fuzz along it. Didn't have any fuzz. And uh, we got four cards now. So that's what I do. But if you guys see, I just eliminated a bunch of cards that I would have spent money on because to my eye or my smaller magnifier, you know, stuff I wasn't able to pick up. So, I mean, just stuff that I'll end up putting in the store. But that's the Jefferson, two, three, four, five. Save me six cards. No, seven, because I put one in a top loader. Seven cards out of 11 are not going to be graded. This is why I use the microscope offhand. Um, I'm not telling everybody to rush out and go get one, because I know they run a little over 100 bucks for a good one. Um, but if you're really into grading, and with the prices that have gone up like they have here originally, or recently, I shouldn't say originally, it's the best investment ever because it's saving me the heartache of grading out a card. Now, when I start looking at the value in cards, I know this is going to be something else, is that, let me pull this off, is if I had a card that's selling raw at $500, I don't mind. Because I'm going to have to set it up anyhow. Because I'm going to be worried about selling it. And somebody's like, oh, Balderdash, there's this, this, and this wrong. Even if it comes back at 8, it solidifies the grade. And I'm pretty much going to get the same amount as a raw card. A 9, I'm going to get a bump in price. A 10, I'm going to get a huge bump in price. Depending on type of card. And who it's of, you can kind of start learning how to do the multipliers on where the card would be at for selling-wise if none's out there. But the more expensive card is, the more I'm probably just going to grade it regardless of flaws. But I'll at least put underneath scope just to take a look, do any kind of wipe downs that I'm seeing onto the fuzz on the side. A mark here or there of excess chrome buildup that was on it and somehow I missed it originally when I pulled it and didn't wipe it down. But this is my time to where I become more accurate into what I'm doing. So hopefully that makes sense. A little bit different of a video. I know it's 40-some minutes long with the video. But I figured I'd share it. Um, I guess I will put this out as a video uh, offhand. I wasn't too sure if I was or not, but now that I start thinking about some of the stuff I said onto here, 
you know, it might help somebody out down the road on this show. So if you guys do want to see more of these kind of deals, I could do that, or I can come live whenever I start really getting back into the big submissions, like regulars, stuff like that with PSA, too. And I'll show you guys why I still send stuff in, regardless. It's usually due to price value and not having to have somebody second-guess me and do a return. <laughs> All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all later.